Oh. This is video of a Ukrainian medic applying a tourniquet to a soldier injured on the battlefield. And Don, I can, the problem I can go on for hours and tell you stories that it's hard to even fathom. Ukrainian soldiers need high quality tourniquets in their war against Russia. Unfortunately, one of the greatest things that's needed, that's requested right now, is tourniquets. Rob Sturgill has a big heart. He started a grassroots effort called Type of Wood Charities to help people in need around the world. Next month, Rob and about 15 others are headed back to Ukraine. We're sending them over tourniquets that have been made here in the United States that are high quality tourniquets that, that are saving lives. It will be Rob's fourth trip to Ukraine, a country Leo Martzenik knows very well. We should care for everybody who's struggling today. Martzenik was young when his homeland was part of the old Soviet Union. When Soviets came in, they told my parents, let's say a very rough example, you cannot take your kid to church. You can go to church, but your kid has to stay home because we don't want your kid to know anything about Jesus. Leo's faith got him through a lot then, and now as deacon of the full Gospel Slavic Church in Meridian, he's committed to helping the Ukrainian cause any way he can, including helping Sturgill collect tourniquets. There was a bombing overnight, and three of those soldiers saved because we sent this stuff from the United States. That's how any person from here, $23, $28, you have a chance to save life. And it's not just tourniquets. Sturgill will deliver whatever is needed. Bleed stop kits and first aid kits and other medicines and medical supplies that will actually go with us and be delivered to the front lines. If you would like to help or learn more about their effort to support freedom in Ukraine, go to Type of Wood Charities Facebook page. What I cherish in America, every Ukrainian cherish in Ukraine, it's freedom. That's number one, and that's what Ukrainians fighting for right now. Don Nelson, Idaho, News 6.